Where am I at here? Right here. So what's up guys? I, uh, I'm back again with a bit of an update uh, on my fatty liver disease and yeah, basically uh, on fatty liver disease. So after two weeks of diet and a little exercise here and there, my AST and ALT on the blood test, which were my AST was 49.50 and my ALT was 78. Uh, I've been told by a lot of people, those aren't bad numbers. They're slightly elevated, but diet and exercise, you're gonna be fine. Well, that's true. Uh, diet and exercise and <clears throat> I started feeling a little bit better. I just picked my notice for y'all. Uh, but I noticed back in uh, December when all these problems started that, uh, you know, I had uh, some bowel problems. Uh, you know, I'd have diarrhea one to three times a day. Uh, always felt gassy, but never passed gas. Well, after about two weeks of telling my GI, my gastroenterologist, that I I'm not feeling right in the belly area. They finally uh, scheduled me a colonoscopy for April 2nd and a, uh, ordered a stool sample and another blood sample. Well, the blood sample came back, the blood results came back. All of my numbers went down uh, either to normal or close to normal, except for that ALT. It shot up to 100 when before it was literally 78 which isn't too much higher than what it's supposed to be i don't know exactly what it's supposed to be but it wasn't uh, too much higher than what it was supposed to be uh, so fast forward to the next day my stool sample comes back and it turns out i have uh this infection in my colon called C. C. difficile, I think is what it's called. And, uh, boy, I broke down. I was like, I'm gonna die. It's the end of the world. Um, but then I did some more research on it <clears throat> and turns out I have a mild case. Like apparently symptoms for this are just extreme like severe diarrhea 10 plus times a day that's what one chick told me uh severe abdominal pain and i've been to the er two or three times well four times for abdominal pain and diarrhea and they basically treat you for dehydration or abdominal pain and give you some pain medicine and send you on your way well, I know, they, you know, they told me, my gastroenterologist told me that, hey, we looked at your liver on an MRI that you had done for your pancreas. Remember the one where I told you they found the lipoma and it was completely benign? <clears throat> well, we looked at your uh, liver on there and her words were, honey, it looks good. And so I'm like, well, why do I have, why are these numbers high then? And then come to find out I have C. difficile or C. difficile, whatever it's called. C. diff is what they call it. C. diff. So it turns out I have to take this crazy antibiotic called vancomycin. Vancomycin. I got the paper right there. And I was freaking out, like, because <clears throat> I know some things will interact with a fatty liver disease. But apparently mine's doing pretty good. Uh, so I freaked out again. My anxiety is terrible, guys. If anything, as much as this is, like, I'm, me trying to spread awareness for fatty liver disease and kidney health, take care of your kidneys... 
Um, it's also awareness, want, me wanting to spread awareness for mental health. Because since de December, my mental health has deteriorated. Uh, I had a severe panic attack last night. Uh, heart racing, my neck got stiff. Uh, my whole upper body was just like stone and I was breathing erratically. My heart rate was erratic <clears throat> and I felt absolutely terrible. And I mean, I calmed down with about an hour, but I still felt it pretty much all night. Didn't really sleep well. Um, but this is just as much of awareness for mental health as it is for <clears throat> non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and you know kidney problems and uh, now C. diff. So I just started vancomycin today but it kind of freaked me out like I said because I, I, I didn't know if I should take it with my fatty liver and I should have known that my GI wouldn't uh, prescribe me something that's gonna affect the other thing, you know? So I couldn't get a hold of her because it they've closed. But I called a pharmacist. And they were like, I'm fairly certain you're good, but let me look it up. <clears throat> and what they told me is vancomycin, what the body doesn't use, gets filtered through urine and feces no absorption in the kidneys or the liver. So that made me very happy. Uh, now I've ended up dying of like accelerated liver failure or something. Uh, you guys know that that was a lie. Um, but I also know that C. diff or I've read that C. diff can cause liver and kidney failure. But I wasn't having these issues when the kidney problems started. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I wasn't diagnosed with fatty liver disease until after, uh, which it had been going on for a while. I just didn't know. It's you know, it's why they, it's a silent disease. But uh, I had been having you know, the fatty liver, and then after that is when I started noticing the uh, symptoms of uh, C. diff. And I thought it was just because my anxiety was so bad, I just thought it was IBS or something. But I'm extremely thankful <clears throat> that everything is working out the way it's supposed to be working out. Uh, you know, I'm going to get the C. diff under control and I'm going to get the, apparently I've already gotten the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease under control. I've just got to keep putting it in, keep putting the time in and dedication. Um, but yeah, I start, I've already started the uh, vancomycin and I'm supposed to be on that for 10 days and I got to take four a day so breakfast lunch dinner before bed and I've talked to a couple of people about it <clears throat> uh, in a sport group and they're like yo you have a mild case it sounds like you have a mild case of it um, because you're not having diarrhea 10 plus times a day uh, you should be able to kick this after one round of antibiotics. And apparently some people take multiple rounds of antibiotics to get rid of it. In more severe cases, um, people will have to have, uh, what was it called? It was like a fecal transplant or something like that, where they take healthy poo, put it into your body somehow so your colon can absorb the good nutrients from it. Or at least that's what I've read. Um, and that's what I, you know, in the support group, that's what I've read too. A couple of people have had to have that happen. But 
I'll make a video in uh, about 15 days and we'll see how I'm doing. Uh, like I said, the uh, fatty liver disease has been improving over the last two weeks, or at least that's what the numbers in the blood test say. So I'm, I'm grateful, thankful, extremely for that. Uh, so I think the reason my ALT number has shot up to a hundred is because of this infection. Uh, I mean, obviously it wasn't prevalent in the uh, previous blood test. So now that it has reared its ugly head, um, maybe I caught it early and I get to uh, take the antibiotics and do away with that as soon as possible. But anyway, in about 15 days, because uh, I got to take the antibiotic for 10 days, then I'm going to take five days and make sure nothing happens, nothing comes back. I will make another video uh, <clears throat> letting y'all know how I'm doing. And I guess we'll chronicle, I will chronicle this journey as well. Um, so yeah, stay tuned.